what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video i'm going to show you how you can improve the performance on any gaming pc guys out there Luigi. i'm gonna show you a few very simple steps anyone can do just to make sure that you're gonna have way better performance and that you can disable a ton of unnecessary services on your pc you probably didn't even know about so therefore if you guys enjoy this content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel guys please Luigi. so many people watch me and don't subscribe guys it's one click and you would help me out so much and without any further ado let's get straight into this topic and yeah guys what i want you to do now is click on the first link in the description where you can find my website and here on the top it already says fps boost input delay stretch resolution and what we're going to focus on is fps boost just simply click onto it then you should get redirected and here on the top you should see now a post with exactly same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now and on there you can find the following pack from today guys you should get a file here which is called Venero tweaker 14 and this is a free tool which you can utilize guys to improve the performance of your pc and once you go through the installation process you're just simply going to launch it you know Click here onto agree guys, go onto yes and now the Venero Tweaker should actually appear here with all your specs of your current PC here. As you can see guys, I'm right now here as well on my laptop because yeah, I still haven't optimized it fully. So therefore, we're actually going to do it here now. And yeah guys, once we are now fully in the Venero Tweaker, we're gonna go here into the search bar and actually type in Windows. And then we should see somewhere here Windows Apps, yeah? We're just simply going to type it in there. And then we can see here Windows Apps and Auto Store Updates. And we're just simply gonna scroll down a little bit. And then we can already now see here Auto Update Store Apps. And we're gonna click here onto disable guys because we don't want this of course it's automatically also going to ask us here if we want to reboot our pc now but we're gonna click here onto i'll do it um, later myself then we of course also have disable cortana we don't need this one as well on our pc guys then we also have something like disable windows ink workspace this one we can actually also fully disable then we also have a bunch of tasks which are linked to microsoft edge which we don't need of course guys so therefore disable as much as possible because i don't think a single person is actually using microsoft edge and then we also have here extra buttons on Internet Explorer. We can fully disable that. And once we're done with our Windows applications and we made sure that nothing is gonna get automatically updated or we also disable Cortana fully and pretty much anything which is unwanted on our PC, we're gonna scroll up here a little bit again, guys, until we can actually find behavior because there's more stuff we can do in here. Something like ads and unwanted applications, you know, some stuff which gets like automatically installed on your Windows PC, we can fully disable with one check here, guys. You can see, just simply check it once and you can see every single one of these here should be like checked now. Uh, yeah, I just unchecked this so that I had to redo it. Then we also have something like disable app lookup in store. Make sure to disable that one as well. Then we also have the smart screen guys, which we can fully actually disable here as well. It is like extra protection guys for Microsoft Edge and the Microsoft Store. And yeah, all these services, of course, guys, as much as we turn them down, the better performance you're gonna have on your PC, you know, like all these small processes together are actually gonna make an impact. Then we have something like disable Windows update and notifications. I would definitely do that because especially while gaming, you don't want your PC to randomly do a Windows update. And also super important guys, power throttling. Make sure to disable this one. Because power throttle, because this feature actually is limiting your CPU resources for programs which are minimized or run in the background guys. And especially if you have something running in the background like your double movement, maybe a recording software or some other tools which you use I don't know, maybe like a game booster from Razer. Um, this is actually gonna limit that tool. So therefore we're gonna make sure that power throttling is actually disabled 100%. And with that said guys, we're already fully done here. We applied everything which is somehow necessary and yeah this is all already applied here guys so therefore we don't have to worry you know you can just simply close actually the program now and restart your pc and all these changes are gonna be applied and then afterwards you can already uninstall this program or delete it from your pc and we're basically done here so you yeah, guys and once we are now here actually in creative you can see i'm not even looking into the sky yeah i'm looking like here normally at the map and we have like above four five six hundred fps guys so therefore that's actually really good you know we're just going to try it out here Super, super smooth.
And with that said, guys, this is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If so, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This will help me to say so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day. Have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.